Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my shop. In this video, I'm going to show you how I replace these totally shot bearings in my table saw. So let's get started. To access the bearings, I need to remove the top of the table saw. That's done by removing the four bolts in the four corners of the table. With the bolts removed, I can remove the top and set it aside. It was at this point that I realized that I had forgotten to take off the switch. So I'll remove the two bolts that hold the switch onto the rails and then I can continue removing the top. There were shims under two of the bolts, so I'll set those aside just making note of where they go. I thought I was going to have to remove the whole trunnion assembly from the cabinet uh, in order to change the bearings. So I actually unbolted it from the cabinet, but it turned out that I didn't actually need to unbolt it at all. And this whole operation can be done with the trunnion still bolted to the cabinet. So the first thing I need to do is remove the pulley. And to do that, I need to loosen the nut that holds it on. With the nut removed, I can slide the pulley off the shaft and then remove the key. There's also a bushing on the shaft that I need to remove. Next there are three screws that hold the bearing in place. Next I can tap the arbor out of the trunnion. And you can really see how bad this bearing is. Now I can remove the other bearing. I used a sleeve that was inside the arbor and a socket to tap it out. Next I can press in a new bearing. And to do that I'm using a parallel clamp. The jaws on the clamp are wide enough to actually contact the outer chase of the bearing and press it into place. and I can replace those three screws. So now I need to remove the bearing off of the arbor. And to do that, this is my setup I'm gonna use. The sides of the wrench contact the inner chase of the bearing. So as I'm pounding, I'm applying pressure right to that inner chase. You'll see as I'm going, I'm actually rotating the arbor back and forth. That's just to apply pressure evenly to both sides of the bearing. Once I got it to move a little bit, I replaced the wrench with a bigger one. Once I got the bearing loose off the arbor, it slid down and it has to pass over the spot for the other bearing. So I repeat the same process to loosen it from that spot as well. And then you can really see how bad a shape that one's in. Now I can press the new bearing on. To do this, I'm using a 3 quarter inch socket, which is the right size, so when I'm hammering, it's pressing against the inner chase. Once the socket bottoms out, I use that sleeve that was inside the arbor to extend my reach. And once I've bottomed out again, I grab the piece of 3 quarter inch copper pipe coupling to extend my reach again. A few more taps with the mallet and the bearing is fully seated. And with it pressed on there, here's how it looks. With the bearings installed, I can reseat the arbor into the trunnion.
Next, I can replace the pulley in the back. So I slip the bushing back on. I insert the key into the keyway and then slide the pulley back on. And then I can reinstall and tighten the nut. While I have the top off, I can do a little maintenance on the saw as well. I checked the pulley alignment and I noticed that it was off by quite a bit and you can see on the belt the uneven wear. That was caused by the pulley being offset too far in on the motor. So I've ordered a new belt for the saw as well. And while everything's really accessible, I can go ahead and I can lubricate the mechanisms that raise and lower and tilt the saw blade. And now I can reinstall the top. So I slide it on top of the base and then try and line up the holes and insert the screws. And I can replace the shims on the right corners. Since I removed the table, I need to realign the blade to the miter slot. If you'd like to learn more about this process, check out my table saw alignment video. While I'm calibrating my saw, I'll take the time to make sure my fence is aligned as well. And then I can reinstall the switch and fire up the saw for the first time. So as you can see, the whole process really isn't all that involved or complicated and you really don't need any fancy tools to do it. One thing that would obviously really help if you have it around is a puller of some sort. So you could actually pull the bearings off the shafts instead of having to hammer them off like I did. Now this whole process, including the calibration and alignment of the saw, took me about three and a half hours and a lot of that time was spent uh, mostly kind of figuring out what I was trying to do because I didn't really consult the internet or my manual for my saw on how to get in there and get the arbor removed from the saw. So a lot of that time was spent kind of fiddling around trying to figure out which screws to remove to get in there. Obviously this process is going to vary from saw to saw, from manufacturer to manufacturer, but I really wanted this to show how easy it is or how straightforward it is to change these bearings out on these machines. Now the bearings themselves are pretty inexpensive as well. I think they're uh, less than $10 a piece. So I hope you found this video interesting and somewhat useful. Uh, thanks for watching as always. If you have any questions or comments about anything I talked about today or anything here in my shop, please leave me a comment. I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, happy woodworking.